Hello everyone, it is Commentum and today we are back with episode 3 of Path to Paris and we are jumping straight in with a new idea. We are doing a fitness game to try and build back the fitness of our team just to try and make sure that we do get fitness in our players because we do not want our players playing on low fitness and we do win that game quite comfortably. I think it was maybe 8-0 so we will do maybe one fitness game per episode just to build back fitness in the players and as you can see there we have picked up a Kabai and a modder. Goodbye, we picked up for a thousand coins and a modder 750. And we're going to change to 4231 formation at the minute because we do have so many central players with Mata and Goodbye as our two CDMs in that formation. So they should work well there. And it looks like a very, very strong team now that we do have our full PSG side. And yeah, I'm very excited to bring in some new players in the next few episodes and get into the more expensive players. But in the next game, we do come up against quite a strong team, Dos Santos, eh, Rakitic, Xavi, players like that. And once again, we get off to an awful start in this game, going 1-0 down within the first two minutes. And yeah, I've just been seeing quite a lot of kickoff the past few, eh, past few games. But then, once again, within another minute or so, we concede another goal. Giovanni Dos Santos, OP as anything does score to make it 2-0 to him within three minutes and yeah it was not a good place we were at at this stage and then 15 minutes in like not long after he sends Rakitic through who does beat Duche and does make it 3-0 within 15 minutes not good at all but then literally minutes later we do pick up the ball with Verratti and we work our way into the box and do sweat it across slightly but we were 3-0 down so we did have to get the goal in and we do make a 3-1 and we're back in this game all of a sudden only two down with another 70 minutes to play but then straight from kickoff he does the kickoff glitch sends away his player and does make it 4-1 so once again we do have that 3-0 deficit but we still do have plenty of time to make something out of this and as you remember we did not start the series very well with our results but we did end up getting our first win at the end of the last episode but Babek just terrorising defensive, running through the middle, and it does end up beating the keeper to uh, to the keeper's right and to Babek's left, and fantastic finish from him there, and does make it 4-2, and once again back to that two goal deficit, and then Mata ends up making a break, but we did not trust his shooting skills, so we did sweat it across once again uh, to Babek to make it 4-3, and at half time we needed that goal to get us back in it, and then 60 minute mark, he does send away Dos Santos again, who brings it round Duche and does end up scoring. But then we were not going to give it away so easily there. He makes a mistake, and you know what we have to do when he makes a mistake? We have to uh, clinically uh, beat him. Verratti collects the ball off of per clearance and gives it to Babek, I think, who does finish it off. And that makes it 5 4. And then later on, Babek he is an absolute beast for us. He's unreal. He's got good pace, decent finishing. His shooting stat on his card, I think, does lie because he is a fantastic finisher. And we do go on to score to make it 5 5, I think. And yeah, later on in the game, 87th minute, we do get brought down. He gets a red card, I do think. and But that doesn't really matter, 87 minutes in. The main fact is we do have a penalty with it being 5 5. Uh, Pastore steps up and puts it in the red, I think, but and does sky it over the bar. But will that be the final episode or final part of the game? No, it is not. Pastore takes a shot, could have redeemed himself there, but then does get the rebound, so does end up redeeming himself. And we do win the game 6 5, which is a fantastic comeback after being 3 0 down within 15 minutes, 4 1 down, 5 2 down, I think. And yeah, after that game, I did realise that I did not have the appropriate kit numbers, so we go, do go and fix this. And yeah, I do forget at times to do this throughout the series so I will uh, do it maybe in stages and as you can see I've got quite a few to do at the minute so I do speed this section up a wee bit just to try and get through it a bit more quickly as I have a lot a lot of uh, numbers to fix as we do have a full PSG team plus a few players on the bench so 13 <laughs> Uh, it would be maybe six minutes just changing numbers, but I did speed it up so it is literally just a minute of me changing the numbers. And yeah, look at the numbers there. We do have a Duche as our number one. Hopefully, we will have Sergu in soon. Um, 
who isn't actually number uh, one, I think he's maybe number 23, but yeah, there's all the numbers sorted, and we do do a bit of trading. We pick up this herd here for 400 coins, and do try and list them up for 750. Um, so a bit of cheap trading here, just with a few coins we did have left over. We also do pick up this Roberts here, as you will see, for 150 coins, and we do list him up for 300, I do believe. Uh, yeah, 300, which is doubling our coins that we did have there. So, yeah, we do then jump into our final game of the episode, and he has a very strong team. Bit of a hybrid, but some players do not have full chemistry. And uh, 25 minutes in, we did manage not to concede very early on, but Babak terrorizes defence and puts it underneath the keeper and does end up scoring the goal. So, 25 minutes in, 1 0 up, but that was never going to last. My dodgy defence at the minute. And Giovinco, very, very speedy player, takes an absolute cracker of a shot and absolutely wallops it into the goal. Fantastic goal from him there. What a finish. But then Pastore, we weren't going to let him last too long eh, in the same kind of or came the same kind of score as us. Pastore off the kickoff works his way up the field and to slot it into the bottom right hand corner. Nice finish there. And Pastore is actually a fantastic player in that central cam position in the 4 2 3 1. Then Babek does get brought down to win a penalty and Pastore will slot it away. Very nice penalty, 3-1, 38 minutes in. And we look as if we're going to win our third game in a row, which is very, very good. But we do dispossess him in the 44th minute. And Kabai with an absolute amazing finish with a weak foot. And as you can see there, he was down to 10 men after giving away that penalty. So 4-1 to us. And we do start to run away with it here a bit. Uh, Babek then works his way down the pitch and we do take it around the keeper slightly and slot it into the bottom corner and yep yeah, 5-1 and we're still not finished there we do end up conceding though uh, giving the ball away and in via I'm not sure what he was doing that high up the pitch does manage to get it over our keeper and a lot of these games are very high scoring at the minute because I can score a lot of goals with this team as they're very very strong but the defence is slightly weak so I do concede also um, probably stupid goals yes but they are goals that I do concede. So yeah, this is coming up to the end of the episode. What we're going to do now is just show you uh, a bit more trading. We pick up this Dabo here for uh, 500 coins, is that? I'm not sure. I can't really see it. And we pick them up. I'm going to list them up for 700 coins, I do think. Uh, 850 actually. So yeah, that's a nice deal. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. Check out GTA.com in the description. Link will be there for a cheap game. Uh, codes and all and it has been what commands and peace